What's going on guys and welcome to Yoda Expedition. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Miso Custom Steering Wheel Blackout Trim Kit. This kit is gonna work on your second gen Tundra, third gen Tacoma, and your fifth gen 4Runners. And we have three options available, matte black, we have the Pro Carbon, and then we have our topography as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because we are gonna be uh, messing with the airbag, we're not gonna be unplugging it, but um, because we are gonna be taking it out of the steering wheel, I am going to disconnect the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first before I do anything. So we got our tools here. We got a flathead screwdriver and we have a Phillips head screwdriver. I have a ratchet with an extension and a T40 uh, Torx bit on there. The um, installation for this is gonna be pretty much the same across the board for Tacoma, 4Runner, and Tundra. Just because we're doing it on the 4Runner doesn't mean you can't follow these same steps on your truck. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the flathead screwdriver on either side of the steering wheel covering. There is uh, some plastic covers. Those are covering up the bolts for your airbag. So we're gonna go ahead and pop those off. Now we're gonna take the ratchet, the extension with the Torx bit, we're gonna go ahead and take both of those bolts out. We'll go ahead and get this side loose. Earlier I said that it was a T40 Torx, um, it's actually a T30. So we'll get this out. These bolts are not going to physically come out all the way, but once they are loose, your airbag will come right out and then we can just go ahead and set that on top of the steering wheel. Now we're gonna have two Phillips head screws on each side. We'll go ahead and take those out. Once you got those screws out, we're gonna go ahead and grab this and just pop it out and we'll turn it over. You're gonna find three more Phillips head screws. We'll go ahead and take those out as well. You don't need to unplug this or anything. Um, once you get these screws out, this cover will come right off. Put those three screws out, we can go ahead, turn it over, and you can take the cover right off, put the new one on, we can get those screws reinstalled. So we got the new one here, we're gonna go ahead and pop these out for our buttons. We'll go ahead and place this on, just like that. And we'll go ahead and put those screws back in. So while you have this apart, another mod that uh, Miso Customs has is the volume button mod from factory on the forerunner your volume knob uh, is left and right and a lot of people like it to be up and down so they sell a uh, new button so you can flip that so if you want to do that now's the time while you have the steering wheel ripped apart so we got that side all swapped out we go ahead and pop that back in place we can get our two screws back in and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here ahead and snap this one back in place and we can get our screws for those reinstalled now I just want to note if you guys do go with the topo option when you first get them the topo is gonna to have like a tan hue to it but after a few days in the Sun it is going to change more to a white color and that's just due to the laser engraving machine now we can grab the airbag we could pop that back in and we'll re-tighten uh, those screws there on the sides holding the airbag in. Okay, now last step, we just need to put on those covers and we're finished. All right, let's go ahead and hook up the battery and we're done. All right guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. We're gonna go ahead and get the other two styles installed as well so you guys can see what they look like. If you wanna pick one of these up or anything else from Miso Customs, you can head over to yodaexpedition.com. Our link is right down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.